yeah, don't set the challenge of sunsets though, because <laughs> you'll never get them. All right, I'll leave you with these last few pictures. Thank you so much for watching my messing around in Margate. Oh, that's a good thumbnail, isn't it? Messing around in Margate, sunset photography, <laughs> or not. Hi, welcome to another video. Hope you're doing fabulously well. Now you might be forgiven for thinking, oh, hang on, I've jumped on his Drive With Care channel. <laughs> Link up here. But no, I'm out to do a sunset shoot. I'm here in Margate. And I'm thinking if I can get to the Harbour Arm and get in time, because <laughs> that's always one of my big bugbears. It's now half past six or 18.39, two hours before sunset. The sun's supposed to go down at half past eight. So we'll get a golden hour from 7.30 onwards. Gives me enough time to scoop some locations out. And I'm thinking, because there's only some wispy clouds, it could be great because there's no clouds on the horizon. It could be fruitless because we won't get the nice washes on the clouds that I always like. But we'll see how we get on. So I'm armed with my tripod. <laughs> I'm thinking manual priority. Tight apertures, especially if they light up the harbour arm. So let's get in here. Turner Contemporary, free admission, but it costs 10 quid to park. <laughs> I almost tempted to shout out some hazard awareness stuff. Have you paid and displayed? Where shall I park? Just down here a little bit. See, that sun's going down, so it's gonna set in that general direction. All right, let's park up and scout some locations. So it could actually work. Um, I don't think I'll get a good sunset shot from up here because there's, there's kind of no definition. All it is is just the sun going down on the, on the coast. But as we pan around, because the sun is setting in that direction, I actually want to be stood on that side. So if I could probably stand over there on the far side, so we'll go over there and have a look. There's nothing really to see here on the um, harbour arm. It's capturing the harbour arm in the view with the lighthouse with the sun dropping let's go see what it looks like from over there i, I can't believe it i'm so not normally like this i was so self-conscious doing my intro over there because there's a band playing and there's people milling about at the top and in the pub and there's loud music but that kind of makes me think that it will be lit up later so getting a shot from over there of the harbour arm on that side with the sun dropping down and the lights all lit up should be good but this is what I just spied. Just down there on the old jetty is an Anthony Gormley, another place statue. Let's see if I can zoom in for you. Seven o'clock folks, seven o'clock. Now with the sun setting in the west because the sun sets in the west washing this coastline if i can stand perhaps somewhere over there if the tide hasn't come in and it looks like it's coming in might get a good shot of the anthony gormley statue but that's something i'll have to size up as and when because if the tides come right in then um you know i didn't bring my wellies <laughs> let's go stand over there see if we can size up the situation it's always good to get somewhere early and then set up your composition. You already have it in your mind. Right, I'm gonna take this shot. Right, stop waffling, let's get over there. So here's a potential. Standing on this jetty, we've already got the sun shining down on the remnants of water. So it really just depends how much water is gonna come in off the tide. But we've got the lighthouse all silhouetted. Looks really lovely. 
and again my location is going to be based on where is the sun you know the sun's coming down will it go will it will it settle straight down the lighthouse there so that's one potential i think what i'll do is just head over to there <laughs> scouting out these locations boop 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 so that's two let's see what else we can see so coming down the steps from here with the town behind me i was just stood over there come on camera i was just stood over there but we've got look all the wash of light here and actually the light is washing right on the edge of the harbour arm there so i'm actually excited to see where the sun actually sets hmm could be good now what i'm thinking is one or two shots of the sun going down in this location with the lighthouse and the sun setting try and get the anthony gormley so that's at least three shots but because i'm already in the town there's some really lovely old streets and it might be that i'll get a chance to put some night photography into play you know with the with the streets and the street lamps that kind of thing so we'll have a look but i think the first thing i need to do because peter's fish and chip shop is just across here and i'm not eaten since lunch and it's now five past seven so i think a nice cheeky packet of chips do you think <laughs> let's see what we can do you know i said about pre-planning actually getting here and it's still a whole hour and 15 minutes before the sun drops so i've got to make some time up here so we shall have sausage and chips with water but look i've got mike brown streaming on the iphone i'd actually forgotten that it was the the preview tonight now if you don't know mike brown he's a photographer he's got his own channel it's kind of one of the instigators for me st starting my photography journey and also doing my own channel but he has a facebook group called photo creative and every month he sets a challenge to all us photographers i think he's got about 5000 followers on his facebook page so it's definitely worth looking into if you're into photography i'll put a link in the description below but he sets a challenge every month and well it's like 20 minutes in so i don't know if my photo has been reviewed yet but it's always good to get a little bit of constructive criticism from a professional photographer so every month he gives a challenge and this month's challenge is called silhouette so hashtag silhouette um i i put this picture in which Mike uh, Peter Brown just happened to be on the beach with his umbrella and he was struggling with it. I think he actually struck a pose, but I was at the right place at the right time, so I just took the shot. Anyway, I've, I've submitted that image to the challenge, so it'll be interesting to see if I get some feedback. Thankfully, because it's streamed on YouTube, I won't miss it in as much as I can watch it later. <laughs> I wished I'd known. Well, I knew, but... You know, I was so hell-bent on coming out to do my photography. So I'm going to have my sausage and chips and watch a bit of Mike Brown's previewing and see how I get on. As usual, <laughs> I've set myself too much of a target to try and get as many shots as I can. However, I will, I will do this one. And then what I'm thinking is just one other shot so the harbour hang on I'm all moving so I've got to get on my knees because I don't want the tripod right up there I'm going to try and get the horizon right we've got the sun and we've got Anthony Gormley's figure I think that's lovely I don't know if I can drop the ISO much for you but that is a bit special with that sun now that there is a cloud I thought there was someone there there is a cloud hiding that sun and that sun is huge we've got the moon on the other side and i'm thinking once the sun has gone down and dropped beyond the horizon we might get a blood moon we might be in luck but that is just here it comes here comes the sun <laughs> i just want to let the video run it looks better than the photograph so i've only got my 140 lens and that's what i'm going to work with I want to make sure my ISO is off. I want to force it 
at 100 ISO. So now that I know it's at 100 ISO, tide is coming in. Be quick, Smith, you're losing it. I've got exposure compensation. That's from a previous shot. So let's get that back to zero. So that I'm only relying on the shutter speed. What do I want? Tight aperture, F14 maybe, F16, it wants 1 60th of a second. Let's see what it does. I didn't compose the shot, which would have helped. I was just looking at the settings. So let's get Anthony Gormley's figure in shot. Another place. Slightly skew if it's hard to try and get a balance here. There we go, that's got the horizon. Looking straight into the sun. This is F16 at 1 60th of a second. And that's a tad too dark. So let's brighten it up a bit. Just because I'm going straight into the sun, you see. Oh, I love it. That is wonderful. Now it's just a case of thinking, do what I want. Some special cloud, uh, waves. Straightening it up helps, of course. Yeah, and that's nice. Sun smack in the middle, but the statuette is just sitting comfortably. I like that. The sun's dipping down behind the cloud. I probably won't get it on the other side now, but that'll do. Have a look at this one while I go around to the other side of the harbour arm. Right, having left Anthony Gormley's Another Place, this is a prime example of me over committing myself, okay? The sun's disappeared behind the cloud and because of that, I don't get the fabulous sun dropping behind the, um, behind the sea. So I'm not really gonna get anything dynamic, but I have got some nice washes of light. I think I could even get a pano out of this you know just bringing it from the right there and to the left but the question is for composition sake where do i place the lighthouse and i think smack bang in the middle just it, you know it's not pleasing to the eye especially with the water running from the beach and all the way down <laughs> photography is fun but i think videography is a lot better so I've got these people down here with their music and their fish and chips. I've got people sitting along here having their supper. It's all very pleasant actually. But I think I can get something out of this. Zoom in a little, lose those people, just have the beach. Did we have got amazing sky behind me? Look at this. I'm not sure what's going on, but you've got the storm cloud in the background there. Looks lovely in the old town. But yeah, that's me doing my usual stuff of, I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna get this picture and that picture and all the other pictures, <laughs> recenter. And then I run out of time. So I think a lesson learned here is go out, find one location, set up for that one location and just bang out the shots, one after the other, until you've actually got the shot you want. Sun's dropped, it's gone. So I'm now in blue hour. So maybe the sky is gonna give me a nice wash. But I've got some nice reflections of the water. So I'm gonna knock out a couple here. So actually the Anthony Gormley shot, that was really lovely. I got a couple of other shots, which will go on my Instagram. <laughs> but I will put them on here as well. But I'm gonna take a couple of shots here now, just at the sea. So in terms of settings, manual priority, and we've got, it's smack in the middle, 
ISO is set again to 100 by default and to keep it smack in the middle it wants a 25th of a second let's just take a shot of that see what it does and that's quite pleasant I like the different hues of the light so that was just an example shot make sure I've got the right settings now it's a case of lining it up so that the hor horizon is right oh that's a nice shot suddenly silhouette of people yeah I like that that's one I got one in there that's good so I'm gonna do three shots get myself a little pano just to get because the thing is I'm in, I'm in at 35 mil but I I'm losing the left and the right so it's almost like doing I want a wide angle but I don't want to crop it in so all I have to do is just swivel around and take three shots at 35 mil with the sky the sky's lovely lovely colors uh, it's like the parrot sketch isn't it beautiful plumage <laughs> okay that's that one shot and my battery's almost dead <laughs> and I see some people on the beach taking in the theme that Mike Brown had set for us which was silhouettes can I get some people yeah that's nice okay I'm gonna call it <laughs> sounds like someone you know paramedics let's call it <laughs> the photography session ended at <laughs> dead on arrival at 2027 20, <laughs> ah you've got to be silly with the fun haven't you it, it all makes it okay so lesson learned commit to one maybe two but just one image at any given time you know and get the best out of it otherwise it's a shoot what you see and you're doing drive-by shooting and you just stop shot stop shot but on something like this where you've actually got to consider where you might want to take the shot set it up get your lighting right and just take your time with it so all in all worth coming out got my chips <laughs> got some nice pictures actually despite me being a bit you know there <sighs> you should have seen the other ending i filmed <laughs> which you're not going to see so thanks for watching bearing with and um i'll leave you with that final shot and the other shots of anthony gormley's that you didn't see me take and um i'll see you in another video bye for now